So I don't know if I'll make a video out of this, but should be a hell of an adventure today. I'm leaving the hotel to go to uh, the CVS pharmacy and pick up some prescriptions. <clears throat> Turns out the back way is a lot shorter than the way I was going before. The other day I was out there at the mall and uh, a crazy person started repeating everything I said and was following me around. Now why in the hell you want to follow somebody around? Well, of course I can't move very fast. It got pretty annoying and, uh, and then I got pissed off and I got to remember my position in life because they could have beat the hell out of me. So anyway, I've run out of catheters at this point, which is kind of an emergency situation. When I say run out, I got three left. That's not enough. Uh, there's an order coming in tomorrow. And uh, I so I got to get on the trolley with all of the crazy people and uh, get to the hospital because uh, I don't have enough catheters to make it to tomorrow. You can't, your bladder can't go more than eight hours without catheter. So uh, let me just show you what it looks like here. We got the, uh, hold on. There. Anyway, sorry about that. Something happened. This is the standard produce company. I don't know if I got the first part of the video or not. And there's the road going down. So I just thought I'd record this for posterity because someday I want to look back on this. <laughs> it's a hell of a time in my life. You'd think that, uh, oh man, I forgot to program jaunt in my phone. Well, anyway, supposedly the trolley's free and I'll have to figure out which one to take. I got somebody. Nope, I thought there was a truck coming behind me. All right, so let's just get to the CVS pharmacy. I got the uh, thing around my waist. I'll show you that real quick. That's supposed to help with the blood pressure. I've taken all my meds and uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cath here within about two hours. I got one in the, in the thing here. So we'll see how the day goes. It's gonna be a long one. You see how fast I'm moving? Look at me, man. I'm like the road runner. Woohoo! So I came down that pretty tree balloon there. Smells good. <clears throat> one of these days I might eat here. It's a bakery and a uh, Sutton Cabal authentic Turkish cuisine. So anyway, we're traveling across the tracks now. Believe it or not, this leads right into that ramp right there. And then that ramp goes right up to the CVS Pharmacy. <laughs> Remember the other day on another video, I was wandering all over downtown uh, Charlottesville looking for the CVS Pharmacy, and this was as easy as it was. So anyway, I'm going to get head, head straight to the trolley and get over to the emergency room. Uh, supposedly, it's a free ride. And then there's a used bookstore. I'm going to pick up a book to read. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, by the way, let's check this out, man. I would—I don't know if I get time. I'd—I'd I'd love to go in here to the sidetracks music, but I tell you, it's just stupid at this point to buy anything. I got stuff from my mom's house that, that actually made it with, through the purge, where they threw everything away. And of course, I got a wheelchair and this walker and other stuff. And so, yeah, there's only so much I can carry. So it's just like this: don't buy anything. Don't buy. Don't buy. So here I am on the main boulevard. Whoo! Oh man, I'm tired. I didn't sit down anywhere. I got the thing around my waist as you saw. So CVS is just down there, so let's get the prescriptions. And then I'm off to the trolley to get to the hospital. Because I've done the math over and over in my head. I don't have enough catheters to make it till 1 o'clock tomorrow when they're bringing the, uh, the resupply on those. I just didn't know. Well, I went as fast as I could. They had the wrong number. and. Then they were short staffed and then they were calling the wrong number because they thought they were calling me and anyway, let's just keep going. So I made it to the CVS pharmacy and I hit their blood pressure machine and it's saying it's like 80 over 50. <laughs> that can't be possible. I'd be passed out right now. I don't know how accurate their blood pressure machine is, but I'm going to find out. I don't know what's taking so long. They're, they're having difficulty filling my, even though I called it in. So. I don't want to get any faces on the video. All right, that's it for this clip. But anyway, I'm just trying to get them. We'll see what happens. I know one thing, I gotta, I'm gonna have to cath here soon. All right. So here's the bookstore. I wanted to get a book to read at the bus station, but I gotta cath myself. It took too long in the CVS pharmacy. I'm getting up on six hours and I'm 
there's no clean bathrooms around here. In fact, the CVS doesn't even have a bathroom. They said it's disabled. So I'm going to go down to the bus stop and let's pray to God. It don't take too long to get to the hospital. That might that's probably the nearest clean bathroom. And I got everything I need to cath myself. Let's get going. So if the hospital doesn't indoctrinate me, because my blood pressure was extremely low, check it out. Pizza. Man, I bet it's expensive as hell, but I would love to get a slice on the way back to the hotel room once I do my thing at the hospital here. All right, so let's keep on going, man. I tell you, that's a wonderful sight. And then they got chocolate at the CVS pharmacy. Woohoo! Life is good. So I thought this was different. I guess it's the graffiti wall. Looks like it's all in chalk. I, yeah, this is this is what you really got to do. I mean, you know, give people a place to vent so that they're not spray painting everything. You know, I think that's a good idea. And then over here is the transit station, so I made it. Let us pray that I'm not there an hour waiting for the... Uh, the trolley to get to the hospital. We'll see what happens. All I got is the phone. All right, I've tried two doors now and they're all locked to the transit station. I'm gonna keep walking around, but the, I'm kind of getting desperate at this point. I guess so I can go back to the hotel room. But I got two, two, what, two left and maybe, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could reuse them somehow. we closed until further notice. Let's just keep walking around. Now here's some restrooms, and if they're clean, I can use that real quick with uh, for a captain. But I don't know, man. This is getting crazy. Check out this pavilion, though. That is cool. I mean, if you wanted to get some live music, what a neat place to perform. If I were a performer, anyway, let's just keep going. All right. So all the doors were locked, and uh, finally, I tried to talk to a police officer, but he said he had to run. By the way, he knew the crazy person that attacked me the other day. She does get aggressive, so I got lucky she didn't beat the hell out of me. By the way, check it out, an electric mower. <laughs> you know, not, I guess uh, they gone green here in uh, Charlottesville. Um, so I'm gonna go down below, but uh, get kind of desperate. Uh, the city hall's actually locked up. Good Lord, I mean, you know, I, did, I, I guess they gotta keep all the crazy people out. So I guess now I'm heading down below and uh, I don't know. I, they told me to go to the police station and they might let me in and let me use their bathroom. So I guess I, 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 I don't know. I, it's, I'm getting kind of desperate at this point. But uh, anyway, they say I wasted all that time going down to talk to the police officer and he just basically said, see ya. Wouldn't even answer my questions that I got a call. I got to go. And I'm like, damn, man. I mean, I'm just trying to find out how I catch the damn stupid trolley. All right. So but luckily the lawnmower guy told me to go down a ramp and go down below and let's see what we find down there so I just thought I'd get this on the video because I'm I'm detouring to the police station I don't know if I'm gonna find it but anyway this is where I was sitting that this is the carousel for the kids when that crazy person accosted me and I was sitting in that chair right there just making a phone call talking and uh, that was when that it was a she I think <laughs> As to what pronoun she went by. <laughs> I would thank God I didn't get the shit beat out of me. But uh, anyway, so um, she just start, started standing right here and repeating every word I said. Uh, actually, she was kind of more like over here because I couldn't see her because I couldn't turn my head with the uh, neck brace on. But anyway, I'm hoping that the police station is going to let me use their bathroom because I don't know how long it's going to take to get the trolley to get over to the hospital to get a couple of catheters. Uh, so, God, what an adventure, huh? Seems like everything I do here is a, but you know, it's a nice day. I'm not complaining. I just, uh, don't want my bladder to explode. So anyway, um, you can see that's why I came down here for some privacy. It's kind of quiet. It was until the crazy person came. All right, let's keep going. So the situation's getting kind of crazy. Well, it says, well, City Hall was bringing me back around to the door was locked. Anyway, here comes a woman. I'm going to ask her. Nobody seems to know where the damn police station is. All right, hold on. Well, this is what I found. Oh, my God. This smells like urine. This place is filthy, but I guess uh, I got no choice. So let's whip it out and cath it. 
I mean, I got to, hopefully the door's locked. This is the police station. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I mean, I'm not actually in, in the police station. I guess this is like the public police station restroom, but God, the smell. Oh, well, let's just get to it. Don't want my bladder to explode. You might wonder why I'm making these videos. It's because these days just are incredulous. And I'm hoping to write about all this someday and turn it into a screenplay or a book or whatever. And, I don't know, but uh, anyway, so, and I got to do these while it's fresh on my mind because I know that I'll forget, I, hell, I couldn't even remember the unit I was in in the Army because the guy asked me, he goes, what unit were you in? I was like, damn, I forgot, you know, anyway, so, so go looking for the, uh, well, the, I was trying to find for, at first the transit bus and all the, the, the doors were locked because of COVID-19. Team. They're still celebrating that event here in uh, Charlottesville, miraculously. And, um, and of course, I didn't know I had to go down below because the only way you can meet the uh, bus to the uh, hospital was uh, outside. So uh, anyway, I asked, tried to ask a police officer. He got a call and said, I can't talk to you right now. And he runs off. And I can't tell you how long it took me to get to him because I had to hike all the way across an arena because I didn't know who else to ask. And, you know, you ask people and I, I'm gonna tell you, man. I, I this is like New York City here in uh, Charlottesville. I mean, I, I I've never seen people like this. They're they're not well, they're not very helpful. Let's just put it that way. Um, at least the ones I've met, anyway. So I, I you know I hiked around for a long time, and uh, well, you wonder why I'm looking for the uh, police station. It's because I needed to cath. I had to get you know my plan was was to go pick up the prescriptions and. Uh, and then just work my way around and then um, get on the bus, go to the hospital, pick up a couple of cath catheters because I didn't have enough to make it till my supplies get here at one o'clock tomorrow. And uh, I know I'm kind of rambling, but you know, so I was looking, of course the bathrooms were locked at the transit, transit station too, which is probably a good thing because it probably would have been filthy. So anyway, I, I finally get to the police station and there's nobody at the front counter but there was a bathroom there, and I opened up the door, and I mean, it reeked. It was nasty, but, you know, the smell was terrible, but you couldn't really see. I mean, it was, well, I got, I got, actually, I got it on the, I forgot, I did get that. So anyway, I tried to, um, to cath in there, and, and I forgot the, um, the uh, lubricating jelly. Um, but I didn't think I'd need it, because the catheters are pretty lubricated as they are. Anyway, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get anything out, and so now we get into an emergency situation. Um, so, and I had to go to the hospital anyway, because no way I could make it to the next day without catheters. So, so I finally I called an Uber, and of course I messed that up. I entered the police station as the destination <laughs> instead of instead of the hospital. I created a lot of confusion, and uh, you know, luckily the uh, Uber driver was she was uh, she was quite intelligent and. And so anyway, we got me to the hospital. Now I got in there and there's a long line of people. Now I, I'm gonna tell you, you never wanna go to the UVA uh, emergency room now. They said it was an exceptionally busy day, but still. Um, so it took me a while to get up just to, and I, and I told the girl behind the counter, I said, look, you know, I just need a catheter and some, some lubrication and, uh, and I can take care of this situation myself. I said, and then I just need a couple catheters. And she said, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You're going to have to go have a seat with everybody else. And I'm thinking, man, it's already been about eight hours, you know, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm in pain at this point. Um, so, you know, I'm like, God, I'm, well, I wonder how long I'm going to have to wait. So I waited and I waited and I waited. And I mean, so now, you know, I'm sitting in the chair and I'm kind of doubling over and doubling over and doubling over. And then I'm starting to shake, you know, because, I mean, it had gone eight hours. It's gone 10 hours. It had gone... I think, well, let's see, it was five, six, and it had gone, um, well, it was, it was four o'clock in the afternoon, and I couldn't even sit in the chair no more. I, I doubled over onto the floor, and, uh, and uh, of course, the floor is cold, and I'm laying on my, my uh, broken collarbone. That hurt like hell, but I couldn't, I couldn't hardly move, and, uh, and then I just started shaking because I'm, I'm kind of going into shock, and... Um, or the cold floor, it could have been either, you know, I mean, but I think it was a combination of the two. And uh, and everybody, there's people sitting around me, because I was kind of down towards the end where the, nobody could see me from the, you know, the nurses and stuff that kept coming out and saying, uh, you know, Ralph so-and-so, are you here? You know, and then they'd take them back, you know, to take care of whatever their emergency was, you know. 
And I'm laying on the floor shaking. You'd think that one of these people might get up and say, hey man, there's a guy back here laying on the floor shaking. No, oh, they just they just sat there and just talked away, you know, and I, you know, I wasn't gonna say anything to them. I just said, screw it. You know, so I, cause I kept thinking that somebody somewhere, you know, that worked at the hospital would see me on the floor and it just kept going on. I bet I laid there an hour, hour and a half. And I finally, I said, you know what? The only way I'm gonna get any attention because these people aren't gonna help me. So I, I crawled, I grabbed the, I started crawling across the floor. And uh, it was kind of like when, when I had the, um, the broken neck climbing up the stairs. I just did it an inch at a time. I just I would grab my feet and I would push myself. So finally I pushed myself out into the hallway. And it took, uh, it took about another 10, 15 minutes and finally a woman noticed me and, and she said, is, is there some reason you're not sitting in your seat? I said, because I can't. Of course, it took me a minute to be able to say anything. I said, because I, I can't move. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm laying there, I'm shaking. And, you know, and so finally they, no, this was all unnecessary. All they had to do when it first came in was just give me a cath and I would have been out of there, you know. So now they got to rush me back and I can't, I took a guy, he had to help me up. I got on the walker, you know, and of course I'm all bent over like, like grandpa, you know, and I'm, I'm just barely moving, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm thinking, God dang, get me a freaking wheelchair, you idiots, you know, but I just, I just kind of made my way. So they got me into a hospital room and uh, short story long, uh, you know, they took care of, I mean, it was almost uh, two liters of, of liquid that, well, it was about 1.5 to two liters that they got out into a, but put a Foley in. So check this out. I, I'm going to show this to you. Well, there you go. Now I can see. So I, I agreed with them, you know, I said, let's just put this on my leg. And uh, cause not, cause for, they didn't give me any cathing equipment, still didn't give me any cathing equipment. I told them that one o'clock tomorrow, my supplies are supposed to arrive. So now I had to call another Uber to, to Uber me back to the hotel room. And then of course I've been here ever since. Now the story gets funnier too, cause I'm dumber than a bag of stones, right? So I have you know, I'm, I'm realizing, you know, I've been all over a dirty hospital floor probably germs all over. Actually, I slid across the floor about a, I don't know, 20, 30 feet, you know, pushing myself a couple inches at a time. So imagine all the, the stuff I picked up. So I said, you know what? I haven't had a shower in about, I don't know, two weeks. So I said, you know what? It's just time. I got to get in the shower. So I got all the clothes off and everything and uh, got, got in the shower. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shower with this Foley bag on, but my bright idea was to empty the bag uh, in the shower to get the pee out and uh, so I, I but the guy told me wrong he he said flip it down so I, I ended up I thought I broke the damn thing because the plastic piece came out so now the Foley bag is leaking all over the doggone place and I uh, and I put it back together as best I could but you know I, I didn't really notice that I'm sitting there watching TV and uh, drip 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 you know and I'm like oh my god I'm dripping on the carpet you know so I get into the kitchen and it's dripping there too and uh, I'm like, man, I, I supposed to put it together wrong, right? So I, uh, I get back in the shower and I'm working on it, and uh, finally I, I figured it out. But I tell you, it didn't go back together the way that it was. <laughs> but it's working. It's uh, it's not dripping no more. So, but that took that took another couple hours. So now it's past midnight, and uh, and so it was time for the prescription. So I'm taking those right now. Anyway, that's the end of the story. Um, I don't know, freedom, freedom, please God, get me back to Florida someday. Get me the hell out of Charlottesville because people here are crazy. Uh, you know, anyway, peace out, stay free. Oh, I forgot to add one last thing. This is educational. So anyway, so I get to the um, um, pharmacy. This was before all, everything happened. And the one thing that I've been asking for is cough syrup with one ingredient and uh, that ingredient is I got it right here because I'm taking the golf cough syrup back tomorrow it's G-U-A-I-F-E-N-E-S-I-N Guafensin Guafensin I don't know how you pronounce that so you know I get the cough syrup back and I'm looking at it you know and I got the got the glasses on but let me read you the ingredients because I, I asked I even asked the girl at the counter I said has, has it got you know the Guafensin I, I could I, I didn't have it with me and she goes, yeah, yeah, the ingredient that you called in, we, we, we got it off the shelf and, and, and you're good to go. So they got this, well, it does say, 
on the front. Well, anyway, I don't know. Maybe I won't take this back because it says on the front it's got uh, 200 milligrams, but when you look at the ingredients, check it out. I mean, it says citric acid, caramel, FD, red number 40. That's, that's dye. That's bad for you. High fructose corn syrup. Imagine that. I'm a cancer survivor. I'm not supposed to have... Who puts high fructose corn syrup in cough syrup? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Who, these guys, are they're trying to kill everybody. Yeah, corn syrup is the next ingredient. Maltol, I think that menthol. Uh, anyway, purified water. And so in the ingredients, I don't even see my ingredient listed. There is a G-L-Y-C-E-R-I-N. Oh, there's... there's anyway, I don't, I don't get it. Those are the inactive ingredients, but it, okay, and that up at the top is the, all right, so I guess I'll be not taking the cough syrup back, but I should take it back just for having high fructose corn syrup in it, but I'm not going to punish those people. They've been good to me, and uh, I mean, I'm sure they just looked at the one ingredient and didn't look at all the other stuff that's in it. All right, peace out, stay free. That's it. Just, just kind of letting you know, don't get cough syrup with high fructose corn syrup. Punish the damn drug companies. Stay the hell away from that stuff. So now what would you do? All right, what would you do? Obviously, I put it together wrong. Because it just drip, drip, drips out when I open it up. Which is what it was doing when I had to clean up the, the place. Um, so I'm thinking I could take it apart again and risk the fact that uh, not getting any sleep the rest of the night if I don't get it back together in a fashion that it won't pour out. Or I could try drip, drip, dripping it into that trash can and eh, give it a half an hour and see how much comes out. I'm gonna try the drip, drip, drip. Of course, I gotta get my foot balanced on that trash can, see how that goes. Well, the good news is, slept pretty good. Bad news is, that bag's kind of small, pretty much full at uh, two hours. So I got two hours of sleep. Woohoo!